two. Okay, competition is good. Listen, I want to say this right now, just for people, you know, not everybody's going to compete. I understand not everything needs to be a competition. I can agree with that. You're not going to compete in your life every day. I will say this, though. Um, and I, I always relate stuff to my experience because I can't speak for everybody. But maybe somebody can understand my experience because, you know, we're more alike than you know. Um, competition. Listen, the reason I think competition is good is because for me, I realized, and I was talking to a lady today, she's about 38, 39 years old, and I noticed how athletic she is, and it makes me jealous. Um, and also, I was, and it's funny, there's a young man um, that, uh, um, I, I see him here and there, I, I, I teach in his class, um, or I tutor in his class. Nonetheless, this young man, he does push-ups. We, we had a push-up and sit-up competition for the uh, uh, grade school kids, right? This young man did 75 push-ups, right? He also did 501 sit-ups, right? And I thought to myself, the only reason he did it because he was competing with himself. All he heard was somebody beat his record. He had had a record of 54 push-ups. And he said, well, I got to beat that. So he did 75. And then when he was doing sit-ups, he's like, well, you know, I got to be the best. So he did 501. And I remember being that kid. I remember being in high school and we had a push-up competition. I, I didn't win, but I gave it my all because I cared. And I was a big boy. You know, I'm still big now. Wait, I weighed. No, I probably weigh less now than I did then. I, somewhere close to it, if not right at it. Um, but anyway, I miss the competitive edge. I haven't had it since I left college. You know, in college, I did powerlifting. And, but the one thing I, I really miss, and was start, what I, was starting to push me more now, is the fact that I'm fat. And you know what I mean? That is starting to create a competition in myself. Because being fat in high school, you can live. Being fat in college, okay. But when you're fat in your 30s, to me, it's, it's like giving up. To me, it feels like I've lost. If I'm fat throughout my whole 30s, which I cannot do, it feels like I've lost. When I feel like uh, I'm eating terribly, I feel like I've lost because I be I am an average person and I'll probably be average the rest of my life, but I don't want to be the average weight. I want to be in that top 10% of a weight class. Like very few people are healthy and very few people are even at a healthy weight. I want to be in that class of healthy weight. And not only do I want to be that, I want to be able to compete, whether that be running, whether that be powerlifting, whether that be CrossFit. I just want something. Even if that's just playing basketball at the park, I need the competitive edge because I need the discipline. I want to be able to say I'm better than you because I work harder than you, not to make them feel worse about themselves because I would never do that. I, you know, I don't mind a little trash talk. Don't get me wrong. but. I want to trash talk and be like, yeah, you can't keep your weight under control. Not to everybody who's struggling with weight, but I'm talking about the people, not, not, let's, not, let's, let's not say like obese people, because I know that's a real struggle. Obviously, I understand that. But I'm talking about people who are in the lower weight, people who are playing basketball with me and they're just a little overweight. I want to be able to say, man, you got to get yourself in shape. It's just like how NBA players talk to other NBA players, and that's far from what I'll ever be. But when the NBA players like, man, the only reason I was smoking you in the fourth quarter is because you're out of shape. And I put it in work when you eat burgers off the thing. That's what I mean. I'm not talking about saying, oh, you're obese, get it together, you're a failure. No, I'm talking about when it comes to athletic things, like running, like playing basketball, like lifting, like that kind of stuff. I just want it to be, I need that competitive edge because when I feel like, I feel like, when I have that in my life, it just keeps me from being so down sometimes. Sometimes I get so down because I don't do anything. I've been doing homework and all that kind of stuff, and it's cool, but I miss playing basketball with my friends. Even when I lost, it doesn't matter. It's when you make a shot that you've been working on for so long, you're like, finally, it went down in a game. I make a reverse layup. It's not about winning all the time. It's about seeing improvement. 
And as you get older, obviously you improve in different ways because your body starts to break down. But even if you're like, well, I might not be the fastest guy. I might not be the strongest guy, but I'm dang sure one of the top strongest people in my age group. I can do the app. So that's, that's really what got me to my point. You know how kids in high school, in junior high, in a middle school, in middle school, they have a fitness test. My goal, because I know this is how badly I am out of shape. I want to be able to pass a fitness pacer test and I want to beat the top people. Like if there's a senior in high school, because I'm not on the level of a college, uh, college, you don't have to do all that. But as far as like a high schooler, I want to be stronger than a high schooler. And I feel like, to be honest, most 30 year olds can't do what high school kids can because high school kids tend to be in better shape because they haven't gotten to that fat life yet. You know what I mean? I want to be able to beat a senior in a pushup competition. You know what I mean? If, if not, beat them, be close. Be like top top five, top six. Because there's obviously going to be some freak athletes out there. I'm not talking about the, like the top kid in this top state. I'm talking about this in my own town. I want to be in the top five as a 30-year-old. I want to be top five in uh, sit-ups as a 30-year-old. I want to be able to lift more weights than them because I've been doing it longer. I want to just be in the top five or something. And then obviously, as I got back into the swing of things, I would want to be the top at least close to like top 100 in my class in weightlifting or running or something like that. Only 1% of people in the world are in America. I don't know if it's in the world, but 1% of people in America can even run a marathon. Now, I do not want to run a marathon, but it's just that kind of stuff. I want to be like, oh man, only 1% of 30 year olds can even lift this weight or only 10% of 30 year olds can even bench this much. Only 10% of 30 year olds are not obese. That stuff matters. And I just feel like, competition keeps you disciplined i think so much time we sometimes get so used to the and i'm not talking about participation awards i don't care if people get that if you like that if you feel like that's right cool but for me i don't want a participation award i don't want to be like oh well Trey, you're still alive and breathing so you get an award no i want to not have taken my life this far for granted so when i come to being a 30 year old i can be like at least i got that competitive spirit to keep me disciplined because the more i don't compete with something for me personally the more lazy i get because i'm not competing with anybody it kind of takes the fire out of me and so i want to compete in other stuff even coming here on live stream and doing it over and over and over and i i don't think i'll ever be a big live streamer by any means but if i'm just big enough if i'm in the top 50 percent with this because this is something i really can't control too much but if i'm in the top 50 percent of this I'm, I'm happy with that when it comes to lifting weights, I like to be in the top 25%. Um, and that's the kind of stuff I want to work towards. Um, when it comes to having a uh, certain body fat percentage, I would like to be in the top 25%. You know, I want to get to those points because I need that discipline in my life to get me back. And I'm starting to get the fire back. Every time I go to school now, when I go to tutor and stuff, and I see that woman who's very athletic, way more athletic than me, it, it drives me a little bit because like you know what i can't i'm not i'm not gonna be able to beat this woman and everything um because she's always gonna be a better runner than me because i've never been a great runner and i'm not gonna say i can lift more weight than her because i know i can even at out of shape as i am but i want to be i don't want to do just weight i want to do it by percentage like she weighs this much she can lift this much of her body weight i want to be able to do that i want to be like well i weigh this much and i can i can still lift more than her percentage right even though she's far more athletic than me i can maybe not beat her here but i could beat her in a basketball competition if we play basketball and i, I win that kind of stuff matters to me you know and that's just where i am um and like i said i want to be the top person beat not in when i say beat this in an earlier i'm gonna shut up after this but when i say i wanted to beat the senior in push-ups or beat the senior in sit-ups i'm obviously talking about the guys uh, I want to beat the guys, you know, I'm not saying I want to compete against women. Just this specific woman I'm talking about is extremely athletic. I'm not talking about you're just your average girl off the streets. This is an extremely athletic woman, far by far the most athletic person in my entire school district because she runs marathons. She runs 20 miles. I mean, she's much fitter than all of us. So beating her in a competition is something would mean something like that would give some significance. So anyway, that's just where I'm at. Now, when it comes to one last thing, as far as this smoking CBD and all that kind of stuff, I do have a competition for myself. 
this is going to take a little longer, but I would hope in the next five years, I'm one of the bigger um, cannabis uh, people, you know, and not just because I get high because I don't get high. I want to show that I can do this. I can be a big cannabis um, streamer, a big cannabis YouTuber. I can be a big cannabis um, Twitter guy without ever having to get high. I want to prove to myself that I can do this and show you guys the, the scientific part of cannabis. I can show you guys the glassware. I can show you guys the, the, the devices. I want to be one of the top people in that and never feel like I have to get high because I don't want to have to say, oh, I just need this to get by every day because I don't. You know, I, I may smoke a lot with you guys here, but when I'm not on camera, I don't smoke nearly as much. I may take a puff for maybe five to 10 minutes on here. I might do it for two hours straight, but that's for entertainment. I just want to prove to myself that I can do this stuff, even with the anxiety and the fear and this and being scared. I want to show myself that even with all that, I, I don't lose faith. It is a competition for me, but it's really a competition for myself. If I beat somebody in something, of course, I'm going to celebrate, but it's not because you lost. It's because I improved enough to win. Peace.